All right, I'm about to go ahead and set up the uh, the rotary cutter or bush hog, as some people call them. I think these things right here, yeah, these are for sh uh, when they were shipped. Yeah, that's where the forks go in. And I don't know if the store was supposed to take them off or not, but they left them on there. And to be quite honest, I am not mad. Because I could use this metal for something else. But in any event, I'm about to pull out the uh, I'm about to pull out the instructions and follow them to the T as far as getting this thing set up, getting the oil in it. So let's make it happen and again. It says it right there. Because apparently a lot of people been sitting well been running these things with uh with no oil in them. I just pulled the instructions out of the little uh capsule thing and they it is soaking wet. I just finished assembling this uh rotary cutter or bush hog just I, according to the instructions according to the manual I like reading instructions so everything is all the bolts are cinched up the gearbox is filled with the appropriate uh, weight oil uh, that's greased. That's greased. You can see grease popping out the top right there. The height adjustment strap is tightened on the top and the bottom. Those are tightened up. Tightened up. Tightened up. Uh, the shaft was installed. Installing that shaft is, uh, <laughs> it's work. It's work. Grade 2 share bolt. Mm, I greased the splines on the slip collar. And I greased the PTO shaft. So I'm going to get ready to install that on the track and give it a little, you know what, I didn't tighten. I didn't check these four bolts. So I'm going to check those. And, uh, Send them down. And that's where I'm going to cut once I get them going, once I get it hooked up. We have these little pens. We have one over there, two, three, four. We have four of these pens. So you can see they're properly overgrown. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the tractor hooked up to the rotary cutter and give it a, a test. There it is, five foot rotary cutter mounted up to the Yanmar. Hooking up the three point hitch actually isn't that difficult, uh, even with something as heavy as this, because once you get one of the arms on, it's pretty uh, easy after that. Since the PTO shaft, um, both the drive shaft for the cutter and the output shaft on the transaxle, transaxle are brand new. They basically never bitten on anything. It was really, really tight getting it on there. Once I run it a little bit, that should loosen up. Everything on here is greased and all the bolts are tightened. Uh, oil is in the gear case. Uh, of course, I did my pre checks before I even fired up the Yanmar. So, what I'm about to do is I'm about to perform the first cut with this thing. I read the instructions for the Yanmar uh, on engaging the PTO. 
I've seen videos all over YouTube of people running the RPMs all the way up to the operational speed, which is what? Oh. All the way up there. It's like 500 and something RPMs for the back. And uh, I think it's 2,000 RPMs for the, uh, the belly PTO. And then they pull the knob, engages, engage the PTO. According to the manual, that's incorrect. According to the manual, you bring the RPMs just off of idle up to 1,500 RPMs. Once you get the engine up to 1,500 RPMs, then you engage the PTO. Once the blades or, or whatever it gets up to speed, then you ramp the RPMs up to the speed on uh, the manual. And I'm trying to uh, remember exactly what the manual say. Once you get the the blades turning on times, whatever you uh, implement you're running from the PTO, once those get going, then you ramp up the engine RPM to a speed that's sufficient for whatever you're doing or whatever what the, uh, the equipment requires so it's the same thing with the loader the rpm that is sufficient for the operation of the equipment uh, again you don't ramp the rpms all the way up then engage the pto according to the manual that's a severe shock to the transaxle you 1500 rpms engage once everything gets up to speed then you ramp it ramp it up and that is according to the Yanmar manual. was its first time ever using the PTO and I, I followed all the instructions for engaging the PTO I had no weird noises no grinding no chattering nothing it was smooth as butter that's not bad at all this stuff is tall I mean, it's taller than me. <laughs> it, it's tall. And I just came in. What is that? Is that a turtle? There's something under here. Okay, so stump. I mean, that thing cut it down nice. Look at that. Let me 
me see if I could. That did a really, really good job. On the other side, and that one is going to be the test. See, it's one over there, the one went in, and two more pins down there. It goes all the way back to the fence, right back there. All right, I think that's uh, a good enough video for the uh, purchase setup and first use of the uh, the county line rotary cutter five foot and just to show you what the the track look like that's the width see it's sticking out just a few inches but two three inches if that a four footer would have worked also but I think the five foot is just right just right I think the six would be probably too much for this on uh, tractor but, uh, so far so good I honestly meant to just do a quick test but I was like you know what I got a quarter tank of fuel in the tank uh might as well see so there to there we got four of these small fields in the big field so there's one over there there's this one there's two more on that side there's this one then another one then another one so there's four one two three four then you got the big field way down there all the way down to the tree line all the way down all the way down to the trees then you got the medium field that's where my shooting range is set up and then you got the small field on the other side of the hay barn this it worked really good no crazy noises no honestly I've, um, I'm I'm hearing something, but it doesn't sound like there's something wrong with it. It just sounds like it's operating. So, see all these things unplug. I'm missing a green one. I'm going to figure something else out, out with that. The big ones you see standing. I think that'll be too much for the uh, for the brush cutter. But I mean, it, it took out some big stuff. I just don't want to overdo it and break the share pin. Right there, right there. I'm impressed. Sweep it off and park it. <laughs> 